Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Shining Force 2. I'm having trouble moving this. Oh my god. Um, yeah, quick news. I, uh, in prevision of future games, I decided to, um, to, uh, to get a controller. Because not all Sega games play very well on a keyboard. You know, some games are designed for a controller. So I went and bought a controller. I bought an Xbox 360 controller for computer because why not? I'm using Windows. So let's take the Windows product, right? And um, I tried setting it properly and it failed utterly. And then I come here to record and uh, it's still kind of all messed up, the settings. So I try to set it back to keyboard and then the keyboard doesn't work and the, the, the controller works. I have no idea what's happening, but the controller works right now. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it. Although I might have to get used to the controls. I'm just telling you right now. Whoa, a bit of lag there. Alright, so this battle looks like uh, this on the map. The uh, the trees are very much solid, even the, the point, pointy ends of them, you know, the up, uh, is uh, very much solid. You can't even fly there. This is rock solid. Uh, other things of uh, importance to mention, new units. Two of them, well, yeah, two of them. This is one. The Mud Man, which is the new golem. How does man, how are, how is mud more powerful than rocks? Don't ask me. It is, alright? And this is the result. Mud Man, pretty strong infantry. 95 and 51. Let's check the rest of the infantry while I still get used to my frickin' controls. Ah, there you are. Our reference point, <laughs> yeah. Seven more attack, three more defense. Only five less HP. Also, this is also a new enemy. The Shaman, who is Aura 2. He's the uh, Aura expert. He also has a Wish Staff, which is a mithril weapon. He can use it to da -da 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 -da, cast Aura 2, which is kind of redundant in his case, but what do you, what do you want? It's how it works. So, um, B, back. Uh, this battle, I will say right now, left some scars on me. Uh, I'll explain why. There's a story behind this one. Uh, last thing to mention, this guy has a mage staff instead of what every one, every other necromancer has. Uh, mage staff is also, ah, mithril weapon, which... In addition to giving more attack than the highest uh, staff you can um, buy, which is useless, you know. Uh, in addition of that, you can use it to cast ta -da -da -da, Blaze 2. So get in range 2 of him, alright? Allow him to maybe get stupid and use the staff instead of using his spell. His much more powerful spell. So yeah, this, whoops. This battle left some scars on me. Um, I'm gonna tell you something real quick. The hardest difficulty of this game, I have only played twice, and I have only completed once the first time. The second time, I kind of dropped off eventually. Uh, later than, uh, farther than uh, where we are right now, though. So uh, I still, this is still the third time I've played. So. Uh, the first time I played this on the hardest difficulty, on ouch difficulty, as it's called. Um, <laughs> I got to this battle, I was breezing through the whole game, as usual. Nothing dangerous, nothing hard, nothing ever. Zalbird, I know how to kill Zalbird. When you know how to kill Zalbird, he's very killable. He's dangerous when you're, you're careless, but I, I know how to handle Zalbird, please. So, um, yeah, everything was fine. And then I get to this battle, which I always kind of liked, but it's not that special. There's a lot of 0%, but there's also a lot of 15% and even some 30% sprinkled in with the uh, random rocks over here and then also the flowers, because you know flowers have amazing defensive bonuses. Uh, properties, I mean. You know, in real life, if you ever need to hide from danger, just jump into a bush of flowers. It's gonna, it's gonna work wonders. You'll see. Trust me. Trust me. Try not to get too much scratched from the. the what are they? <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong freaking button. It's annoying. Um, yeah. Anyways, whatever. Oh, Freya. Yeah, we got Freya. So, uh, yeah. First time, I'm breezing through this, and then I get to a certain point. All right, which I'm gonna show on the map because why not? 
<sighs> back. I get... Okay, the first time, I get around here. Around here, Kazen dies. And Kazen, at that point, I was having a heck of a time leveling up. Alright? He, he was just not leveling up. Not following with the rest of the... I don't want to move you forward. There's an archer there who does extra damage to you. You just stay there. Um... Ah, damn it, it wasn't Blaze 2. Could have been. Also, I was a bit careless with my placement there. I was not looking at... <laughs> I was not looking at what he could hit. I wish I had Aura already. It would be useful. But I have two healers, so this is just fine. The Gallum's gonna be a problem, but I got Sarah, so it's fine. Um, the Arche is also in range, I believe. He could kill Simplet if I'm not careful. So, I'm gonna move you back. No, I'm gonna be careless again. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on killing Max So, Kazen died, and he was a full level behind the second closest guy. Alright, he was. I was having the hardest time leveling him, leveling him up. And I, he died there, so I was like, oh, you know what, screw that, I don't want to have to babysit him through the entire next battle just to have him catch up. So I was like, I could egress and do this again, why not, right? What's the worst that can happen? So I do that. And then less further in the map, around here, alright, I put my simplet over here. And here or here, I don't remember which one. And then he gets attacked by the Pegasus, and then these two uh, eventually start charging down, by the way. The Mudmen are going to replace them, come up and replace them. Um, the Hellhound as well. Is it Hellhound or Cerberus? I don't remember. Yeah, it's Cerberus, and then Hellhound is the second incarnation, which we'll see later. Uh, so yeah, the two Gallum soldiers were charging in, and they also both arrived. So one of them doubles my uh, simple, and the other one crits. And it's barely, barely, barely enough to kill Simplet, alright? So second try, I actually die. I don't even aggress to just not have to deal with uh, someone being low level. I just outright die, alright? And then I start again. At the same freaking place, Simplet dies again. Stupidly again. And I'm like, oh my god, this game. Because around here, around here you get, hold on, you get these three, which are uh, about in your range around here. They're gonna start moving forward eventually. And then this guy is kinda close to getting in range, and these two are charging forward. They hit you around there too, so there's a lot of stuff right around there. It's scripted very well to kill you around there, if you go through there. There's a, whoops, wrong button. There's a, there's a major flaw in the script in that if you go to the right of the house, if you go up, go up through here, this game battles easy as heck, and this is what I discovered on my fourth attempt at this freaking battle. Uh, and then the second time through, I went through the the easy way because really I did not want to have to deal with the shit that I had um, to go through the first time. So yeah, this battle left some scars, as I was masterfully telling you, and he's level 15. I could have pulled him back. He's not actually behind in levels, he's ahead by a lot. One level, one full goddamn level, jeez. Alright, so May, Peter, Slate kinda need kills, also the levels 14 kinda do, namely Kazan and Jaha and Tyrant kind of. Uh, Vicar Freya is going to do his job eventually. I'm not going to move you forward because there's an archer right there. Moving you forward would be stupid. You need a kill. Take a kill. I really need to kill the necromancer though because he's going to murder me with free 3 again. There's a giant 5 defense 2. Oh, and you, you learned Rage in just in time. I usually use this in this uh, at the very end of the battle here. Not that it's particularly powerful, but there's four units at the very end. The Shaman, his two Mudmen, and uh, his dog, his pet, are all there, and Rajin can hit all of that. Rajin, by the way, because you don't know this yet, uh, Rajin is the um, Bolt 2, an improved Bolt 2. Bolt 2 with more damage, that's what it is. It's pretty, pretty good, you have to admit. Rajin 3 is better, but, you know... Uh, not Region 3, but Region 2. You don't get Region 3. You get Region 2 and then um, Katon 3. Which is alright. Katon 3 does a 
heck ton of damage, which is why Slade's here in the first place, because Katen 3, hells yeah. Alright, Necromancer's out, now I need to take out the Arche before he... Oh yeah, and he drops his mage stuff. You can give that to a mage. Wait, no, you don't have a mage. A wizard. Or a summoner. What are they called again? Sorcerers, sorry. That's kind of what they do, though. They just summon... Oh, by the way, Freya has has heal 2 and detox 1, that's all. <laughs> but if you level up, level him up one level, he's gonna get aura and then be uh, the most powerful being ever, as far as healing goes anyways. Um, needs more healing. Alright. Um, hmm, this one. Getting used to the controls right now, this is good. I wonder how this is gonna work with like a platformer, because I'm having trouble uh, with the the arrow right and left that's our arrow as you can see if I just hold it down once I get it back if I just hold it down well now it works if I just hold it down it kinda takes a pause although maybe that's just the controls and I never noticed that yeah I think that's that actually so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna I am actually going to confront my fears and fight this battle head on the way it was scripted to go badly for you and then if it doesn't work, uh, I'm just going to go to the easy path. Oof. I hope it works though, because I kind of don't want to have to restart this battle, because it's kind of late for me. I'm hoping this doesn't last longer than an hour, and I do have some story afterwards. You know, we've had a couple updates now, where I there's not much story after the battle. There's just the battle, and then you go to the next battle, and that's it. We've had a few of these now. Um, this update and the next update are pretty long story-wise. Also, you'll be glad to know, uh, because this is the... Ex by the way, I did not even mention that in my intro, I meant to. This is the new extended weekend version of Shining Force 2, where Friday is suddenly part of the weekend, so it is Shining Force time, because this is coming out Friday. Um, <laughs> uh, I was going to say something, though, before I started going on that. I don't remember though. That's that's kind of my curse. I don't remember what I say. What I want to say, rather. What was I saying before I went back to what I wanted to say way earlier? Oh yeah, there's a lot of story. Yeah, because this weekend, not today, but tomorrow, we finish Act Three, which is um, North Burmesia. The, the four acts, because it's kind of obvious where we're going as well, the four R acts are as follow. Grant's Island, where we started, and then South Parmesia, and then after you meet Creed, North Parmesia, and then um, after North Parmesia, well, where do you think we're going? Back to Grant's Island, so that's act four. And the final act, I will add. Um, pretty interesting act. I have you'll see once we get there which is soon now because I'm doing this double format because this would take forever otherwise jeez yeah ah <sighs> so yeah this is happening also there's a Cerberus right up ahead I need to be careful here <laughs> by careful I mean <laughs> throw Chester forward and hope he doesn't die <laughs> although he's not in range of the Cerberus I was pretty much aware of that Cerberus has not yet begun to move. He's begun. He begins to move pretty much around the time you uh, you uh, pass the house corner. I think it's around there, and uh, everything starts moving from there to hit you when you start going up. Well, the Cerberus hits you now, but the the Gallim soldiers started. Well, Gallim soldiers. The Devil soldiers started moving up. The the little pack of three started edging forward as well. This one, yeah. They're starting to edge forward. Just a little, little bit by little bit, they are getting closer to killing you. No, no, jeez, I pressed left and then it, it registered up. This is gonna get annoying. At least it's gonna be better than keyboard, I think. Although, it's just a question of habit, I think, because... Um... Well, yeah, okay. Um... Nintendo 64. 
you know of that system, I imagine, if you're a gamer. Uh, there was this awesome game called Smash Bros. Brawl. Not Brawl. Super Smash Bros. Yeah, Brawl is the Wii one. Jeez. What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, there was this awesome game that I never played on the console itself. I only ever played it. Um, actually, I could go attack the Hellhound, uh, Cerberus, but he would have no support and no one even close to just helping him get it. So I want I want the fight to happen closer to the rest of the force, if possible. And it is, because it's really... Yeah, he's just gonna charge forward, of course. So yeah, I never played uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, on the Nintendo 64. I played it on an emulator, and I got pretty good. I was using Kirby, and I was I used to just do um, uh, free for alls, like stock free for alls uh, with three. Uh, level 9 AIs, which is the maximum level, and just win every single time with Kirby. I, I, lo I love that. Fun times. All that, to just the point being, right, that um, it's just a question of habit, because would you imagine anyone playing a fighter game that's supposed to be on a controller, on a freaking keyboard, and just destroy the AI on its hardest difficulty? I mean, Granted, uh, the hardest difficulty of Super Smash Bros. is not that difficult. At least the first one, it's not that difficult. I never thought it was pretty difficult. I mean, uh, in the most recent game, it kind of is. I can win uh, most one-on-one uh, -on -one matches, talk matches, with a level 9 AI. With uh, picking random uh, character for myself. Random and random, level 9. And usually I win, unless it's an, on a character that I'm really bad at. I have a few. Wario, for instance. Captain Falcon. God, I hate Captain Falcon. I hate even more Wario. There's only one character that I refuse to play as, and that's Wario. I hate Wario. I just can't play as him. It's frustrating, so I just stop playing. God. Stop the game. Start another one. Uh, why am I talking about Super... <laughs> yeah. Just the point being, it's a question of habit. That's all. Um, she could just waste her time healing stupid stuff, but I'm gonna keep that for Freya. I might, I might regret it, but I don't think so. Alright, so, this guy is about to attack Peter, I believe. What's his movement? Five. One, two, whoa. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ah, called it right. Oh, wow. Okay. When I said solid, I meant not for flyers. <laughs> I meant for walkers. I, I did remember something f to that regard. I don't know. I guess I was remembering wrong. Well, obviously, I was remembering wrong. You know what I mean? Okay, he's not in range yet. Um. I'm gonna put you there, and I'm gonna move um, Peter away to the left. The archer is not gonna be in range anymore, but I think you might be. You. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. No, he's not. Well, okay, hold on. Well, there's gonna be a free three coming on Peter, so I kind of don't want that to happen. Um. Or I could just move this, and it, the freeze three is gonna happen on both of uh, these two guys. I'm gonna move her way back to have the healers let the least the healers have a a contiguous um, square. Well, contiguous square, a square blah, square right next to the the obvious targets, Peter and hmm. Ouch! I'm gonna need heal three here. I think. You can run away. That's very much welcome. Do that. Oh, jeez. That was stupid. Well, I'm gonna use heal too. It's not like Freya is gonna run out of mana anytime soon. He doesn't have heal with uh, not heal, but Hora yet. Once he has Hora, he can run out of mana pretty soon. But not with the the current spells he has. All right. This is a top priority because it can kill just about anything it wants to because it has the range for it. Uh, you, of course, are going to go after Jaha. Jaha's a tank, so I don't mind. 
16, yeah, definitely don't mind. You are going to consolidate a line here along these, well, this. Oh, jeez, really? And I don't mind really putting him there, because this is a 0% terrain, and he's already 0%. I don't want to move you up. I'm going to leave you on the 15% and have you use both too. That way you can still help, but you're way back and you're on 15%. So you're kind of safe. I can't aggress though, so I kind of just gave that one up. That option up, that is. Uh, Chester, yeah sure, do that. He has the largest HP, i.e. the best resistance to magic, because HP is your only defense against magic. Also, I can lean back with my controller now. I don't have to be uh, all up on my keyboard anymore. Um, Peter kind of doesn't need heal 3 anymore. I just want to check. For sh yeah. He really doesn't need heal 3 anymore, so I'm just going to go... Go heal Chaha, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Still having a few problems with uh, the arrows, but I'm going to do just fine. Alright. Uh, May can maybe take the archer kill. Maybe, why not? And, uh, because Kaizen can't do that anymore. Ooh, 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 that's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. That's definitely hurting. <laughs> oh. Uh, you, sir, are attacking this. Oh, damn it. You don't have Apollo 2 yet. Just learned that already, will you? Oh, man. Apollo's gonna cost, I believe, 17 mana? <laughs> uh, sorcerer spells cost so much, but they do so much. I love it. High power. High capacity. High whatever. High everything. Aside from you, me, myself. I don't want to kill the devil soldier because he is making Slade relatively safe. Because, see, uh, the, two, the two devil soldiers play not too far apart from one another. So if this one just came in and attacked Slade, and then I kill it, then the next one's probably right around the corner killing Slade. Finishing him off anyways. So I don't want that to happen, obviously. Uh, you need a kill? You do. Uh, go get the... Um, uh, this guy. You got the range for it. It's kind of a waste of mana for, hell, for HP. I mean... 12 mana to take it down 4 HP, but I need the range. What can you do? If he had Bolt 2 already, by the way, spoiler alert, he gets Bolt 2. If he had Bolt 2, I would have used that, would have hit more targets. Oh, jeez. That's another kind of weakened target. Uh, I am glad, though, I didn't kill the other one because, well, Slade would have died right there. I'm gonna move you up a little bit before doing that. I need to kill the Necromancer now. He's the highest priority target. You see, I'm doing pretty good right now. If only I had done so this so meticulously back when I was alone. But then again, I was alone, so obviously I wouldn't do that. Okay, I'm not going to put Freya up in danger like this. So I'm not going to heal a high priority target. I wish he had Aura 1 right now so much. Just level up already, will you? Please. He's like 7 heals away. Something like that. No, four. Jeez, keep on, keep on doing this. All right, you go after this guy. Now this one, this one. I need to take him down because I'm all bunched up again in his range. So I need to take him out before he just obliterates me. Because if he hits four targets, it's 20 each. That's 80 damage he just did. That's a lot. Even if it's spread out, even if none of my guys are that close to dying because it's all spread out among everyone. Defense two, what the hell? What the crap? Defense 2. Alright, I'm gonna take it, of course. Also, I need to take this guy out because he's about to play. It's been a while since he played, at least, so he must be close. Oh, heal. Um, she can be up front because, <laughs> really, she's a tank. As well as Chester, I don't know what happened there. I keep saying that, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. There are tanks now. Good on them. I like it. And she's about to get a level 18, I believe. Yeah, close enough. So how's everyone at level 14 doing? 
I'm tempted to give him the kill on this Pegasus Knight, but there's so many people that need the kill more than him. I don't feel that threatened right now, so I'm just going to use him to um, weaken the, the Gallum. Uh, not Gallum, I keep saying Gallum because the, the original incarnation of this um, model, model, model uh, sprite was actually um, the Gallum soldier. Hmm. I don't want you to take a kill either. Oh jeez. Just stay there somewhere. Somewhere safe. Ah, I knew he was gonna attack. Then again, he's got a fixation on Jaha, so... Not threatening at all. And I kept the fight on the right when I had to move up, so... These guys up there are not in range of me. That's good. That's excellent. Alright, so do you need a kill? No. You could weaken buddy over here, who's on 30% defense. God damn. Yeah, 17 damage, that's why. He's using flower power against me. Oh my god, flower power. The most devilishly dangerous thing on this side of the planet. Uh, the continent, whatever. <laughs> uh, I think they only appear in like one more battle. Close to that, so enjoy the flowers while you can. <laughs> If they appear again, it's only one more battle. I can think of one battle where they could. Oh wow, jeez. Yeah, Jaha kinda need heals right now. <laughs> kinda needs heals. Uh, Pegasus Knight first. I am going to move up as well. Not too much up, but you know. Up enough. So that she's still in range of the next theater of actions, if you will. Alright, so this battle's not a, as terrible as my scars led me to believe. Well, I knew it wasn't that terrible, but I just failed so many times that I just did not want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> oh, God. That hurt back then. Hmm. Dying twice on the same battle in a row? Jeez, that, that's kind of humiliating. I think he's also one that needs heal. Uh, not heals, but kills. He does need heals, but that's not what I was going for. Ah, whew, blown you away with a critical. When you have 4 HP, that is very, very, very useful, Peter. Thank you. Alright, so he's full HP. He could dra draw someone over here. What's your range? 1, 2, 3, whoa, 4, blah, 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 blah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, he's already in range of something. I'm gonna give him something else to be in range of. We'll see which one he picks. <laughs> the fellow Pegasus Knight. Dodge him! Nope. Oh well. They do have quite a high uh, amount of agility, Pegasus Knights, I mean. And I don't know why I'm attacking with Simplet. I'm glad he dodged that, because he... He, Simplet, does not need more experience. Jaha kinda doesn't either, but whatever. Shh. Whatever. Critical for the same amount that... Uh, May does in a single normal hit. Just saying, you know, you're kind of not that powerful. Um, who needs experience again? Oh, no, 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 there you go. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time keeping track of everything. Chester kind of needs the kill. I'm gonna leave the, the Pegasus Knight to Chester. I hope he can hit. Jeez, he keeps, he keeps missing. Also, I'm gonna move you up here to heal Jaha because he needs heals in your tank, so really, not dangerous for you. It helps also that she's kind of very high level. <laughs> and by kind of, I mean very much high level. Jeez. It's crazy. Um, just moving around, nothing special. Wonder if one of those are in range. Nope. Oh, jeez, that might be a bad idea, but I got nothing else to just get him stuck there. Oh, hey. Just in time, you. Please level up soon. Please level up soon. Don't know where, how close you are. I don't care. Just level up soon. I think it's like two heals away now. Actually. Let's see if I guessed it right. Yep. Exactly right. Well, more or less. Sometimes he doesn't get 10 uh, experience out of heals. Uh, we've been lucky 
in this battle, but I've seen battles where he doesn't get 10 and just takes that much more time to level him up and it's annoying. And you are playing very um, soon again. Whoops, I was convinced he was still very much wounded. Oh well. Uh, yeah, she just took a turn really early. 10 8, really? 10 experience? For that. That was stupid. Well, whatever. Let's just take it and move on, why not? Um, you are going to be in range of the Arche here, I believe. But here too, and you're gonna be in 15 instead. I just hope I'm not in range of the Cerberus. Here. Second target, just in case. Uh, I don't want Slade to be in range. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna move you here, actually. Leave the path open to the uh, to the healers, just in case. Oh my God! Wow. On zero percent too. That's gonna hurt. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, yeah. Hurt indeed. At least the archer is only gonna hit a defensive target. I think. I hope he doesn't reach Slade too, because that would be catastrophic for Slade's health. <laughs> Slade's health and state of well-being. Um, I'm going to keep on healing Peter here. I kind of don't... Oh, you know what? Chester first. Chester's... Yeah. Chester first. Gonna have to throw him in the melee again to get another kill, so... Might as well. 10 HP experience. Just one more 10 experience and we're done with this and you're gonna run away. Kind of. Yes! I remembered right. From observing. <laughs> I remembered right what I observed like less than a minute ago. Yes, I'm a champion. Uh, uh, champion. Olympic champion at memorization. Not really. God. Uh, 